These pieces are gonna be 11 feet up in the air on top of each baggage carousel. They're 50 feet long, the baggage carousel is about 70 feet long. So you're gonna get to see that from a second floor. And then as you come down to your baggage carousel, then you're like looking at each piece individually from all angles. A lot to look at while you're waiting. <laughs> I grew up in Mexico City. I was there until I was 17. And then I went to Kenyon College in Ohio. So when I graduated from Kenyon in 2000, I moved to Washington, D.C. And sure enough, like there was an opportunity. They were looking for an artist to work on a big mural outdoors with Salvadorian youth. And they asked me to be part of it, and I said yes. I would go on to paint 30 public murals in the U.S., in Mexico, in Guatemala. That kind of became the rhythm of my life, and then I would also teach. I decided to apply to grad school, and I got into Hunter MFA, and I ended up experimenting with materials that led me to create sculptures. I use a lot of materials that are construction materials, I create the shape out of window screen and then we layer it slowly with plaster and other things to make it really hard. So it actually feels like, like fiberglass, but it's plaster. Here are five different segments of the sculpture and we're still building layers, doing final touches. Make sure we're sanding and hardening everything and making sure everything fits. We have a great team. We have Henry and Taina, who are our student managers, and then we have a big team that helps us make the pieces. And then once it's finished, I mark it all, and then they help me kind of finish up. So it really does require a big team. For the most part, I am playing off the the movement that already exists on the piece. That's why it's really hard to be like, oh, I know exactly what it's gonna look like because I'm reacting to the sculpture. But this is really fun for me. It's like the icing on the cake. Literally. 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 Although it looks like icing. I definitely chose a lot of different colors and there's still more. There's gonna be a piece that it's more using more greens and one that is using more, more blues. So basically we have a couple different references people can use when they're painting with all the different colors we're using on just the first sculpture. And then we also have our master color sheets that basically kind of document every color that Morel has kind of ever used. Seattle has such a strong relationship with the bodies of water and historically water has been so important for the development of the city and the people. So I wanted to dedicate these sculptures to that. And also, water is an element that really connects all of us. Each piece is dedicated to a different body of water. The palettes of each piece are going to be different, and also the movement. The big reveal for me is always once we, we put it on the side and see it all kind of like shine in its, you know, with all its power at once. It's a huge honor to be able to make something that so many people will be able to see. To be able to welcome people when they're coming into the U.S. with these works, it just, it's extremely inspiring. <laughs>